everybody. So we're looking at um, continuing our Night Quest reviews here. This is Batman 667, and uh, helping me out on this one will be my dog. So if you hear some, hey Abby. So if you hear some weird uh, dog noises, she's just chilling out with me here. So anyway, um, the reading uh, order for Night Quest, the Crusade, is a little strange because there's no part one, two, three, or four, and some of the reading list has this as part one so even though this is part three you might want to read this as part one and i'll show you why in a little bit but this is all leading up to our big night quest podcast coming up in a few days um awesome 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 kelly jones cover as always there's mr i got my light on so you see it there's mr kelly jones 93 so long ago but it doesn't seem so long ago uh also love the exaggeration huge shoulders uh head doesn't look too out of proportion and look at those ab muscles there's not a creature on earth that has that many ab muscles but uh great I, I really enjoyed this i haven't read this in a long time really enjoyed it also by the team of dixon and nolan and hannah i mean they were just nailed it so many times so many great issues with great colorists um andrea roy and um go there you go bob kane uh, created it all, I guess, or some of it. Anyway, but this Wild Wild East, I thought that's kind of a cool title on it. And it starts, um, this is something a lot of uh, uh, writers and artists do for Batman, have a situation kind of similar to the Wayne's murder. A family out at Gotham at night, going the wrong way, and um, end up in the park. Yeah, Abby's making a lot of noise. You making a lot of noise there, Abby? Um, and kind of similar to the Wayne's murder, but in steps... Our new Batman, good old Asbats here um, in the park. And it's kind of, uh, he's not as ultra-violent as the issues of Batman were. Um, but he is kind of violent. And he does kind of uh, complain that he's beating up these ho hoodlums and uh, nobody too interesting. And um, Hannah and uh, Dixon always did a lot of these like four panel pages, which I thought was really cool. And then on this one here, you see the action. The panels kind of are... Um, jumbled around a little bit they're kind of uh, slanted so i thought that was kind of cool and i love that shot of asbats just kind of whacking the guy um in the the face here and this issue moves really fast like a lot of chuck dixon stories first couple pages is all this little um prelude to um asbats just taking down some some thugs and he's kind of rude to the people and says you know don't come back um and then we have sort of this other story about these two bank robbers who are robbing the same bank on the same day, and it turns out they are long-lost cowboy twin brothers, which is kind of hokey, but it's kind of cool. And I remember um, a little later on, they go out and have a drink, and they realize they both like the same drink. And uh, they, they talk this story about how there's uh, brothers who've been separated at birth, and they were so similar, and they were both firemen, and they're both married to similar women. And I remember seeing that story years later and being like, that was in a Batman comic. Um, and then we've got Asbats here, uh, getting a little more, a dream from the Order of St. Dumas. I like how they kept that going and didn't quite abandon it. Um, John Paul looks really old there. He looks like he could be like 45 or so, but I always think he's like early 20s in these stories. And then there's, I kind of like this, you don't see a lot of this, but Asbats kind of working on the suit, making it, tampering with it, and talks about one of my favorite characters of all who... Thanks to uh, All-Star Superman, I'm sorry, hello, All-Star Batman and Scott Snyder is back, and that's Harold. He keeps referring to him as a dwarf, which is kind of a little um, derogatory, and even for then, not very PC. So, um, you know, Harold fans are kind of like, man, why is this guy just being a jerk? And he kind of finds some tunnels, which leads to this subway car that can go, like, really fast, which is pretty cool. And, you know, if you've been reading Detective Comics, um, it's kind of back. <coughs> Excuse me. Tim Drake has built some of these uh, rocket cars for the team uh, before he, you know, died or sort of died. And so um, I remember reading this and thinking this was kind of cool, but also kind of like, you know, a little dangerous. It could be an accident in the subway. And even rereading again, I'm like, how would you do that? How would you have this? Because this isn't a, an abandoned line. It's just an abandoned extension. So then a little later on, after um, these two uh, cowboys kind of get hired, you see Asbats firing through the, the subway and next to people and next to subway stations. Where's that subway? Here's the subway station right here. So you're kind of like, how does he not collide with another subway train? And I was wondering that. And so uh, here, now, 
In the other review, this was mentioned in the other issues, which makes me think this issue comes before. But we've got our, our boy, Tim Drake. Everybody loves a Drake. Um, heading down to the Batcave. And he goes to his secret tunnel from his house and then when he gets down there he realizes that john paul has sealed up the entrance and that's a lot of brickwork that must have taken him a while so he's a busy guy um and then we've got our bank robbers again who take out some criminals and what's odd is batman oh my dogs yeah, there she is uh batman never confronts these criminals i guess that's the next issue uh, so you kind of have the two stories totally independent of each other, never connect. And then the thing that I feared, here's Azbats driving his subway train, and it ends with, he's on a collision course with a subway train, and that's how it ends. So it goes really fast. It's a really quick read, kind of like three, two independent stories, the Azbats story, the twins story, and then a little bit of the Tim Drake story, which is a little connected, but not totally uh, and then we got our letter column here. So uh, look for, I'll do um, Batman 668 next because that ties right into it. And thanks for watching. And look for our big Night Quest the Crusade podcast coming soon to headphones near you. And thank you, Abby, for, I don't know what you did, but thank you. All right, see ya.